procedure in this acid leaf experiment we should take two similar green leaves now let us look at the experiment that is acid leaf experiment in this experiment we are going to take two similar leaves two similar leaves and we are going to apply on one of the leaf grease grease is applied on one of the leaf and the other is left free so you apply the grease on the other leaf and the one is left free leaf 1 is left free and the leaf 2 is applied with grease now you are going to take a weak acid and add one or two drops of weak acid on both the leaves so we are going to take a weak acid and add one or two drops of weak acid on both the leaves on the leaf 2 grease is applied here and here on the leaf 1 grease is not applied on this leaf after adding one or two drops of weak acid on both the leaves leave them for half an hour after half, half an hour observe both the leaves after 30 minutes we are going to observe both the leaves observation the leaf which is applied with the grease was not affected by the acid the other leaf the leaf one which was not applied by the grease was affected by the acid this experiment which leaf was affected by the acid the leaf to page grease was not applied was affected by the acid what do we infer from this experiment the color of the leaf is changed experiment which leaf was affected by the acid the leaf to page grease was not applied was affected by the acid what kind of change did you observe in the leaves the color of the leaf changes what saved the other leaf from the effect of acid it is grease the grease has protected the leaf from the acid and the grease has acted like a thin lining on the leaf similarly from this above activity we can conclude that mucus secreted by the walls of the stomach protect it from the harmful effects of the hydrochloric acid